Why you? Open the door. I have a big surprise to show you. What surprise is it that makes you stay up at night? Did your fox turn into a fairy? No, it's me who has reached the second level of the pre-celestial stage. Surprise, it's the reward for giving you away. What? Let's get in and talk. You know, you've offended many people, but this one is not simple. He is an official of the Lu family from the former Han Empire. He is targeting you. You mean, the mysterious man who stopped you from killing Zhang Yi in the Imperial City before came to you again, and tried to convince you to turn against me? Exactly, he asked me to take you to a shabby temple at the top of Sikuin Mountain thousands of miles away. Apparently, he has set some traps there to deal with you. He wants to lure me into a trap. But I didn't expect you to tell me the truth at once, don't you covet the benefits he promised? After all, he is more generous than me. He helped you level up to the second level of the pre-celestial stage without you even doing anything for him. It's because of my powerful bloodline power inside my body, and he just took advantage of it. As for the solution to removing the Shinmo Oath, it is bait to get me to work for him, it's hard to tell whether it exists or not. I wouldn't fall for that. Once I plot against you, those people will ask me to do something else again, they will never stop until they make full use of me. Compared to those suspicious people, I trust you more, you are nice to me, caring about no personal interests, which I always bear in my mind. It is worth the psychic plan I gave you. I don't buy it, you didn't offer any positive origin points at all when you said you were grateful to me. However, it never occurred to me that you are a royal of the former empire, so compared with me, the fake princess Shilan Wei, you are a real princess. Don't make fun of me, the D family has ruled the Han Empire for hundreds of years. What's the point of being a former princess? That mysterious man claimed to be a former official of the Lu family. He came to me and proved my family background, yet revealed no further information. How about you help me take him down and question him about the truth when he shows up next time? No problem. It's no big deal. Thank you, Huayu. Yen Ryu didn't let me down this time. I sensed something wrong but I indeed didn't overhear anything due to that mysterious man's means. Even if she made it up, I can't verify it, but if I were her coming to confess, I would only have talked about something personal without saying anything about the plot. The question is why this mysterious man is targeting me. When did such a person appear in Shilan Kingdom? Judging from what he did, I don't think he is from Chiliang sect or Keshwaxi sect. Is he Zhou Yenping's man? After all, that guy was. Huh. What did Zhou Yanping do to me before? I often forgot things these days. What's wrong with me? Why you? I am wondering what you are going to do, since he wants to make use of me to lure you up Sikun Mountain. I suppose he doesn't dare to fight you head on. But it should not be an ordinary trap. There is likely to be something special on the top of Sikun Mountain, which can pose a threat to you. Otherwise, he wouldn't choose such a remote place that it's hard for me to make up an excuse. Anyway. After the matter about the treasury is done, you will not be Shilan Wei anymore. It's better to save trouble, so how about not going this time? If I don't go, they will know that you betray them. Why you? They won't. They are unlikely to think so even if you don't go there. After all, the place they chose is too remote. I need to avoid arousing your suspicions, which is not easy. All the more reason I need to go, they have prepared it for so long, going to all this trouble to tempt me over. Wouldn't it be a waste of their work if I don't go? Besides, I really want to figure out what they are up to. Will. Anything bad happen? Don't worry, I'm experienced in fighting alone. One day later. Unknown temple at the top of Sequin Mountain. If I guess it right, when I step on this platform, something will be triggered, right? If you want to fight me, don't act like a coward hiding away. Get out. How could such conspicuous things as the formation and the stone platform escape the notice of a smart person? If the trap only begins to work until you step into it, then this trap is very low level. Your Highness, you are clever, but you should know. There is always someone who is cleverer than you. This familiar feeling, could it be? Miracle sign? I didn't expect that they would go to such great lengths to take me down. If it weren't for using the method I employed when I met Su Min, I am afraid that I would have ended in tragedy. Master, it was horrible just now, I could do nothing at the moment. Luckily, I blew it up quickly, otherwise, 
I couldn't get myself back. Judging from that attack, his cultivation level must not be low. Fortunately, you have improved your cultivation after getting trained. As long as you don't fight, even if you possess someone else's body and pretend to be a pre-celestial stage master, no one can see through you. But the thief who was possessed by you and turned into Shilan Wei's look just now has completely disappeared from my perception, if I guess it right. He should have been taken away by that miracle sign. To somewhere we don't know. It's a substitute? She is quite cautious. It's a pity that you leaked your Yin Chi just now. Which enables me to locate you. He can find me at a distance? You must be kidding me. The effective range of this miracle sign is too wide. Six Moro Demons. I am afraid the power of this miracle sign is stronger than that of the sect leader. I should not mess around again. I have to get out of here. Substitutes are of no use. Almighty Capture. You can't run away, your highness. Huh. Origin point gained. Shock. 0.01 points. G Genia. Origin point gained. Appreciation. 0.01 points. G Genia. I failed. The chosen talented seed you found really got something. In particular, when she was captured, the mysterious flame she released could make me lose control of the power of heaven and earth for a moment, during which she broke free. Just that moment of weakness. She was able to escape from you? She couldn't escape if we fought head on. However, I cast Miracle Sign Cross Space with the Earth Vein formation you set in Sequin Mountain, which was quite limited, so she escaped in the end. The fleeing art she used was majestic without any evil aura. Her speed was even faster than some pre-celestial stage masters with flying techniques at the fourth or fifth level. I am so impressed. Even you are impressed by her fleeing art. I'm more interested in her now. Looks like I need to make some adjustments to the plan. Think hard, like I said, don't be obsessed with the chosen talented seed. I know, luckily, she didn't know who was attacking her all along. Even if she made a guess, she would gradually forget it under the influence of Confucian doctrine. So it has no effect on my original plan. Finger of Nirvana. Master, are you alright? I'm fine, the evil smell of Rosefinch almost drained me, and I'm worn out by using the fleeting sword with all my strength to run away. I really made big trouble this time, ha ha ha. I didn't know how powerful a miracle sign was when I saw the sect leader use it, but when it was used on me... I could feel that it was overwhelmingly strong. Luckily, it seemed to be limited. If it really had no limits, I am afraid I would have to use the teleportation magic circle to transport myself back to Moching Sect. Um, there are no more dark clouds here. Since it's so powerful, will you be in danger if you deal with it next time? If it could be used any time and anywhere, he wouldn't have gone out of his way to let Yen Ryu trick me into going to Sikuin Mountain. The formation on the mountain top is obviously not completed in a short time. I remember that he provided origin points once. I haven't thought about it carefully as I was busy running. His name is Jijinya. Jijinya. Wait. Jijinya? It's the name tied to Zhou Yanping. Right, Zhou Yanping. I should have suspected him a long time ago. Compared with the origin point of greed before, it is self-evident who is behind this game. Why did I not notice it before taking action? No, I didn't forget it. There's something that has interfered with and suppressed my thoughts. Oh no, the vigilance and sense of crisis in my mind are fading. Master? Master, what are you doing? I never thought I would be pinned down in my best field. I didn't realize my senses and thoughts were disrupted. Zhou Yanping, Ji Jin Ye, what evil means you used? If I hadn't reacted fast... I am afraid that I wouldn't even know what was wrong when the information of the origin points disappeared this time. Zhou Yanping? Right, didn't you suspect him before? That's strange, why do I recall that until now? I've fixed my vigilance and suspicion towards him with a heart trigger. Influenced by me, you can be freed from his bizarre interference too. Master, Zhou Yanping came here a long time ago, and he should be up to no good to the two evil sects. Will there be problems with the Shilan treasury? It should be not serious even if there is a problem. Otherwise, he wouldn't have painstakingly plotted against me in advance. It will save him much trouble if he kills me and the two evil sects in the Shilan treasury. 
The only thing I can't figure out is why the two names sometimes showed up together, and sometimes there was only Gigenia. What's going on with these two guys? A clone? A possessed soul? So what are we going to do next, master? It's simple, since Zhou Yanping is trying so hard not to reveal his real purpose. I will bring this rat face to light and make the two evil sects deal with him. I believe the two sects will have methods to deal with his interference after knowing the truth. Mr. Yan, there is a confidential letter for you. A letter? From whom? Um, I don't know. It just appeared out of nowhere. The fight over the Xilan treasury is actually secretly manipulated by Zhou Yanping? Zhou Yanping has stayed at the thatched cottage, plotting. He seems to have no intention but has played tricks secretly. Your vigilance might rise when you are reading this letter, but it will fade away after a moment. Ha, huh, something goes wrong, the thought in my mind really disappeared. How? I have never noticed this means before, when was it used on me? It's conspicuous that something has been concealed, something is wrong with Zhou Yanping. Have you heard? Something happened again in Iqua. Iqua? Isn't it close to here? I remember a scholar built a thatched cottage and has lived in seclusion there. Exactly. Last night, a group of foreign masters surrounded the cottage, and they fought shortly afterwards. The passersby said they heard the roar of a giant snake and saw fog fill the sky. When it was dawn, the ground around the cottage has become an abyss with no bottom in sight. That, that's horrible. Why you, how did you do that? What do you mean? So the person who came to me and asked me to plot against you is Zhou Yanping's man? You made him gain nothing and even figured out who he is, most importantly. I can't figure out how you notified the two evil sects in such a short time and let them put their grudges aside and join hands. It has little to do with me, I guess the two evil sects just came to realize that they had been deceived, after all, Zhou Yanping is devilish cunning. He <laughs> he, these two evil sects are quite decisive. I thought they would investigate the sender of the anonymous letter before taking action. It surprised me that they joined hands to flatten Zhou Yanping's residence without any hesitation. Master, do you think Zhou Yanping has been dead now? I don't know, but I don't think he would die easily. Even if the two evil sects planned to attack him without his knowledge, it would still be too difficult to defeat a master at the fourth level of pre-celestial stage in the wide open space. But it doesn't matter, it didn't cost me any effort. The harder they fight and undermine each other, the easier for me to get the fruit in the end. Master, you are smiling like a bad guy. I knew it was you. Humph? Ha, huh, is it the message box that Keshwak Sisek gave you? It began to beep a few days ago, and now the sound is becoming more urgent. So noisy, stop it. I won't waste my time putting on a play with them in the Imperial City. They can just come to the gate of the moon to fight me if they dare. Huayu is quite capricious. Master, are you not going into the treasury through the gate of the sun? What if they do have opened it? Keshwaxi sect isn't that kind. Even if they do open it, they won't tell me but monopolize the treasury. The messages they sent are probably just to trick me into going to the imperial city. Because they are worried that I would enter the treasury through the gate of the moon. Which will do good to Chiliang sect. I don't have time to run back and forth placing bets. So I will only choose the one that I am most sure of. If nothing goes wrong... The gate of the moon will be opened earlier than the gate of the sun, and Keshwaxi sect will stand no chance. But, any evil sect should not be underestimated. Any incident may happen. Hueli, monitoring puppets from Keshwaxi sect in this area have been pretty much dealt with. The city lord has also got everything prepared. But Shilan Wei hasn't come yet. Doesn't she? No, she's already come. Humph? I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Her highness spent some time picking me up. I brought Mr. Yu here and let him pick a few treasures he likes in the treasury. Are you okay with it, Grand Elder? Sure, your highness can bring whoever you want here. We will never get in the way. That's good. But, why do I feel you got more people here? Could it be that all pre-celestial stage masters except for your sect leader are here? No, we just dispatched some men over to prevent Kesh Hoxie sect from making desperate moves and breaking the agreement. They set out from the sect early and happened to arrive here lately. Right, by the distance between your sect and Shilan Kingdom, it's obviously impossible to be a temporary decision. I thought it was a move against me. I'm glad it's not. But another thing. I heard that you suddenly led your people to the peace cottage before and had a fierce fight against Zhou Yanping. Why did you do that to an honest and kind-hearted scholar all of a sudden? 
I don't know the details, but your internal power is irregular. I'm afraid that you all have got internal injuries, right? I heard that Keshwaxi sect was also involved. How is Zhou Yanping with so many people fighting him? Is he dead, or did he escape? Um, you don't look well. I'll stop asking then. I am just a little worried if our agreement is still valid without Zhou Yanping as a mediator. It's not necessary. We reached the agreement before the meeting at the thatched cottage. It's just. The so-called agreement should be observed by both parties. If either party plays tricks, it will only erode trust between them. For example, if your highness secretly colluded with Chongling's sect and tried to get them as support. Though interestingly, I heard that evil jade beauty is a breathtaking beauty in the eyes of men. Unexpectedly, you are also so charming and desirable when disguising yourself as a man. You have a keen eye, Grand Elder. Looks like it's ridiculous for me to come in this costume. But don't worry, Her Highness and I are just acquaintances without Chongling sect involved, let alone the intention of intervening in the treasury matter. I surely believe it if you said so. After all, it would be too hilarious if you alone can be regarded as strong support. That's mean. I'm telling the truth. Don't you want to change your outfit? I guess it's not very comfortable wearing it, right? Ha ha ha, that's true, please excuse me for a second. Don't worry, your highness, our sect won't stop evil jade beauty from going with us, and the previous agreement is still valid, but... Chongling sect has a bad reputation, you'd better be cautious. I know that, you don't need to sow discord between us. Ha, did this old woman figure out Yen Ryu's identity herself, or did Yan Shirgi give me away? I'll say no more if your highness doesn't like it. The gate of the moon should be about to appear. Your highness, please come with me. In short, these guys from the evil sex can't be underestimated. Oh? Is this the gate of the moon? It's not far from what I imagined. It's reasonable that your highness feels familiar. Back then, out of curiosity, your highness entered the treasury through this gate. It's a pity that her highness has lost her memory. We can only count on you to lead us to this mysterious treasury. Okay, I am not a royal, but I got in there with the former king a few times, it's no big deal leading the way. In another quarter of an hour, when the moon is full, this gate will be stable, what comes next is your highness opens the gate with your blood. Huh? What are you looking for, your highness? Nothing, I just heard the wind howling. I stood Keshwaxi sect up, yet they didn't come to attack the gate of the moon. Are they going to intercept us halfway? Or, did something happen to the gate of the sun? It's open, Mr. Yan, the treasury is opened. I successfully accomplished the mission, all the talisman locks have been cracked, and the gate of the sun has been successfully opened. I have confirmed that the passage is stable, everything goes well, we can enter the treasury at any time. A few days ago, you woke up from your coma and promised me that you would open the treasury before the gate of the moon was opened. So I changed my mind and waited in the Imperial City, now you really did it. Good job, due to your hard work, the gate of the sun is finally opened. I'm flattered, Mr. Yan, I just... Hunf. Pass my order, everyone acts according to the plan. Yao Qi, you take most of the post-celestial stage disciples to clean up the palace. Kill Tu Lanja and his subordinates, kill all those who may be related to Zhou Yanping. Yes. The rest... Follow me to the treasury. The gate of the moon is opened as well. Chiliang's sect will definitely be out there in force, in this case. Let's meet in the treasury. And see who is the one having the last laugh. Oh? Is this... The Shilan treasury? I only knew the Shilan treasury was vast with complicated terrain, but I didn't expect such a scene. You may not know that it's a treasury in name only. It actually refers to the ancient city in front of us. Just because our ancestors named it treasury, it has never been changed in subsequent generations. In order to protect it, the founding king of Shilan Kingdom, who obtained this ancient city, ordered people to build a mausoleum in it after his death and even put all the treasures of the city into his mausoleum. The successive kings didn't find other places to store their treasures, but simply used the founding king's mausoleum as Shilan Kingdom's treasury. Ancient city? It's not different from the information I've investigated these days. This place was one of the secret spots of the Grand Light Sect in ancient times. Compared with Shimo Dark Tunnel that Shimo Sect left behind, perhaps this majestic city can only be regarded as a treasury in the eyes of those mysterious ancient sects. It's a pity that it's been a long time, 
Even if there is something of value, it may have been taken away a long time ago. All right, you'd better stop talking about these trifling things. Take us to the mausoleum quickly. Um, okay, I'll lead the way, please follow me. Not far ahead is the founding king's mausoleum, but the entrance has been locked by another mechanism. It's not as complicated as the gate of the sun or the gate of the moon, and it doesn't require royal blood either, but I'm afraid it's not easy to open as we don't have the key now. It doesn't matter, we have the way. Later, I will enter the mausoleum first to search for what we are seeking, your highness, please wait outside for a while. I'm fine with that, but I'm afraid it won't go as smoothly as you think. That sound. Could it be? Puppet nine-headed snake? Yan Shugu. I thought the gate of the moon would be opened first, so I rushed here with my people. I didn't expect you to be so slow. The gate of the sun was opened so fast. How is it possible? Things change. Always full of surprises. Your highness was indeed decisive to choose the gate of the moon. I am wondering what you think of seeing us coming here. I'm not surprised, wasn't it obvious before? However, you guys came in so soon, isn't it too coincidental? I don't mean anything else, just think about it, everybody. Will there be such a coincidence in this world? Don't be made use of someone with ulterior motives, I have a reliable solution to this treasury dispute, do you want to hear it? I think your highness is more like one with ulterior motives. You know who I'm talking about, stop making fun of me. Grand Elder. Oh? How reliable is the solution you are talking about? I'm kind of curious. At the end of the day, you're merely fighting over a treasure in the treasury. Now it is close at hand, but in fact, either of you has a crucial advantage. If I'm not mistaken, either of you wants to have a deadly fight on the spot now, do you? If so, why not adopt a fairer approach? When the mausoleum is opened, the two of you get in there at the same time, searching for what you are seeking. Whoever finds it first owns it. It's so simple, direct and effective. It's not a game, your highness. How could the loser accept failing to find the treasure just because of oversight? In the end, we will still fight over it. That's why except for the two of you, all other disciples must guard the door to avoid someone taking the treasure away. The city lord and I will be the notaries for this competition. I will hit whoever breaches the agreement. I believe you know that neither of you can take on two opponents at once while grabbing the treasure. If so, well, it's indeed a solution. I don't know what you are looking for, but just go ahead. Your Highness, are we just watching? Of course, it's a deal. We need to keep our promise. You and I are notaries this time. Just watch. Yet, do you think the two evil sects will abide by the agreement and compete fairly? Well, I don't deal with Keshwaxi sect much, but according to their ways of doing things, I am afraid that they will have a hard fight in the end. Indeed. It is common for people from evil sex to fight each other and seek benefits. Unless. Get them a common enemy. He was possessed? That's impressive. But. Mr. Zhou's cultivation method doesn't look like the Confucian one. I'm surprised that your highness can see through my identity, so you propose fair competition just to make the two evil sects deal with me? You tell me. Very clever, your highness, so they suddenly turned against me before. It was also your scheme, right? I just gave you something in return, you know what I mean. That letter was sent by your highness? If you had known about it in advance, you should have told us earlier, although you uncovered his identity now, fighting him hastily is too. Cut the crap. Unlike the cottage, the treasury is an enclosed place, we may be able to keep him here. Mr. Yan made the point, Grand Elder, don't be so pessimistic, we have got him trapped and we three against him alone, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, we will definitely take him down. Mr. Zhou, what do you think? What do I think? I think we should calm down. Don't you want to see where the most precious thing in this treasury is hidden? This is. What a strong aura. Could it be? Flameless Holy Fire? It doesn't take me much effort to get what I want. I'd never thought it would be so easy to get it. Thank you all, never ever meet again. Flameless Holy Fire has been taken away, 
go after him. I can't believe they let him run away with the treasure. What useless people. They wasted the chance I created for them. Go after him. The treasure has been taken away. Keep up with Grand Elder. Anyway, Zhou Yanping is indeed strong, and he also has Ji Jinya who is even more terrifying. I am wondering if the two evil sects can withstand it when he reveals this trump card. Flameless holy fire is thrown out temporarily, and the other treasures here. Ha! They are all ordinary treasures, which are of no use to pre-celestial stage masters. That makes sense. Even if there were good stuff, it would have been taken away long ago, unless it is put in a special place like the power source stone under the protection of the Shilan royal family for years. The Shilan royal family was so stupid and didn't have a keen eye for distinguishing really priceless treasures. Otherwise, Zhou Yanping wouldn't have had the chance to snatch away flameless holy fire. Master only wants treasures with a special aura, don't pick ordinary jewels and weapons. Why you? The two evil sects have gone to chase Zhou Yanping. It's empty outside, why you? You. It's better than none. I want to see if I can get any good stuff. Why you? You knew Zhou Yanping possessed Jilan Che's body a long time ago. How did you know that? Well, I have my way. In order to inquire about the details of the treasury and not get lost after coming in, I asked Xinger to use truth mantra on many nobles in Xilan. Xilan Che was one of them. The conclusion was that although he had some personal motives, they didn't have a significant impact on our plan, and what he feared the most was being dragged into the treasury matter and becoming a pawn. But last night, he suddenly changed his attitude, he didn't refuse Chiliang's sex request for him to lead the way, and in fact, he even displayed a proactive attitude, which was completely contrary to his original intention, the most possibility for such a huge change in one day is he was possessed by someone else. In that respect, I am an expert. Zhou Yanping played such a trick on me, which is like teaching fish how to swim. No one else, apart from Zhou Yanping, has been involved in this game, although I was not so sure of it. In that situation, I would never let him go even if I killed the wrong guy. Why didn't you pretend to know nothing and use his trick against him? Perhaps you could get flameless holy fire. Whoever gets flameless holy fire is the target of all. If I take it, I won't have a chance to use the two evil sects to deal with Zhou Yanping. In the end, the three of them will fight me together. It's better to let them fight each other, just like now. Why you? You are so smart and thoughtful. I am inspired. Don't touch me. Just talk. I was just trying to get close to you. You spoiled the atmosphere. Don't speak in a coquettish tone. I can't bear it. Master, I didn't find anything special. They are all ordinary treasures. As expected, there are too many things, just put them aside for now. After all, we don't have a place to store them now, we will figure out how to take them away when leaving. The Shilan treasury is a little unworthy of its name. The Shilan royal family throughout history has never had pre-celestial stage masters at all. It makes sense that there is no good stuff for pre-celestial stage masters in this treasury. The key is this ancient city. According to the information I got, the Xilan royal family has never set foot in some places in this ancient city, because those places are filled with yin qi. People who are under the pre-celestial stage will definitely die if they get in. So, there must be some undeveloped places inside. The place where the power source stone is stored is also one of them. Xilan people never take it out for better use, but they only put it in the original place and offer it to others. To some extent, it can be described as a generous gesture. Is there any treasure in there that is equal to flameless holy fire? It's hard to tell. All right, go down to business. You said you want to get into the treasury and find a burial place. Now that I have brought you in, you are free to go and find it yourself. I'm going to dig the power source stone while the two evil sects are dealing with Zhou Yanping without extra time to consider me. I'd better follow you. After all, you know a lot more about the treasury than I do. I still have some questions for you. Whatever, you can follow me if you want to, but let's make it clear first, if there are some good items, we can share them according to what they are. However, if it's a power source stone, it must belong to me, don't try to play tricks as you don't have a sec to return. What are you talking about, why you? I don't dare to do that. Humph. Oh, I didn't expect you even have the puppet tiger here. That's one of our greatest puppets. 
you are really well prepared. Come on, you must have a similar arrangement in the Gate of the Moon, no? But we've got a new enemy to deal with now. Well, say no more since we are in agreement about this. Let's work together and fight him. We'll never target each other unless we get rid of them. Okay. Oh, master, they just keep chasing Zhou Yanping and it seems they're getting further and further away. As expected, the two sects had prepared in advance to block the door. Zhou Yanping has no retreat now. This is getting more and more interesting. But they also prepared all this to deal with you. Haven't you thought about how we were gonna get out of this afterward without Zhou Yanping? Why bother? We've got Zhou Yanping to take all this for us anyway. Let's go. I think I know the general location of the power source stone after observing the surroundings for a while. Since the two evil sects are too busy to get in our way now, let's get our hands on the tangible benefits first. Ancient City Center The reliquary on the altar in the center of the ancient city. Here we are. Are you okay? I don't feel well because of the dense in chi here. Come on, you're from the Chonling sect, some in chi discomfort you? This is humiliating, look at me, nothing wrong and I even feel perfectly at ease. You're so powerful, I'm not that strong. There should have been a fierce battle in this area back then, and many pre-celestial masters had died here. Otherwise, in chi wouldn't have affected the weather. No wonder Shilan people didn't come in and take away the power source stone. The overwhelming and ferocious Yin Chi here is so intense. Even if someone at no higher than the second level of the pre-celestial stage came in, they wouldn't fare well unless they specialize in this. Those post-celestial cultivators would even die in a few seconds. It's not that Shilan people don't want to get the stone, it's just that they can't. Well, with the unique environment here, there should have been a real fierce spirit long ago. But along the way, I've never seen a single post-celestial spirit, let alone a pre-celestial one. This has something to do with the power source stone. Grand Light Sect the ancient sect set a spirit suppressing formation with the stone right here, so no spirit or ghost would be born here. Otherwise, evil spirits rather than the Shilan people would have occupied the ancient city, and this city wouldn't have been the so-called Shilan treasury. Pity that the formation here had long been somewhat ineffective because of the lack of maintenance during the hundreds of years. It won't last long even if we don't take the stone away. Why you? You're so knowledgeable. I only know the inside of the Shilan treasury used to belong to a great ancient sect and there may be a burial place here even with my informant's several explorations here. But clearly, you know much more details. Stay away from me. I'll get the power source stone now. Drop the act. I don't get any positive origin points from you. You're just fooling me. Humph? Why you? You split the stone with too much force? No way. The power core stone is not that fragile. And even in that case, where's the other half? The reliquary was intact when we arrived and I don't find any trace of someone else here. Could the stone be incomplete in the very beginning? But how could the formation work in that case? That's impossible. The Maching sect's power source stone became inactive after it was broken by Wei Rodeo, and it took the sect leader a lot of effort to repair it. It can be. As far as I know, the power source stones work whether they are complete or incomplete. Only the sect gate formation needs a complete one to activate, and maybe for other formations, incomplete ones would do. Ah, uh, all right, I don't know that. However, the power source stone is always split and separated to set a formation and one single fragment doesn't make any sense. Look for the other fragments. As long as the grand light sect set the formation in a way I know, you must get the other ones in the city. Other fragments are also in the ancient city? No, the power source stone is so special that I can't sense anything unique on it. I can hardly find the other fragments with six demonic senses. Chinger, get all your ghosts out and have them search for the fragments for me. Okay. Master, I can't summon any ghost somehow. Why you? There's something wrong with the Yin Chi here and ordinary ghosts or spirits couldn't survive here. If other places where the fragments lie are like this, I'm afraid. The power source stone isn't the Keshwaxi sect and the Chiliang sect's priority, but they do attach great importance to it. I think you'd better keep an eye on them, and you may find something. They should get similar information to me and go straight here for the stone, but their real masters are chasing Zhou Yanping and the ordinary cultivators dare not come here. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been so peaceful here. But with so many of their men here, some are likely to look for other possible treasures. I'll go to them and see if I can get anything. I'm not going with you, 
I've had a good look around and I'm pretty sure this is the burial place I'm looking for. What exactly do you want to find the burial place for? I'm working on the method to transfer Mei Ling's power to the guardian spirit to improve its own power. With so much fear seen Qi, it's great to study that here. All right, keep working, I'm leaving. Hide yourself if someone powerful gets in here. Got it, see you later. Does she want to merge Mei Lung and the guardian spirit so that Mei Lung can be her guardian spirit? Maybe, but the Chongling sex method is totally contrary to the way you became my guardian spirit. I don't know what she'll get in the end. Yen Ryu is a tough nut. I plan to work on winning her over after my business in the Shilan treasury is done, but I've come up with an idea after seeing what she did just now. What is it? I helped her a lot before, but she always took the lead, so I'm dispensable to her. Without my help, she would have just achieved her goals less easily. And in order to prevent her from overthinking, I've always refrained from getting too involved and thus failed to impress her or get positive origin points. I even got stupid useless negative points like shock or fear from time to time. It turned out that I can interfere in her business doesn't mean that I'm important to her. To win her over, I've got to do something that she can't do. But she looks confident. And she's so talented that she could even create a new psychic technique based on the old one, except for breaking the shinwoos. What else could she not do? Let's see what method she'll work out then. Her cultivation method has something in common with the psychic technique, so she made it. But according to my observation, the cultivation of guardian spirits and her sex ghost refining method are completely contradictory. I don't think she can easily make it this time. Anyway, I won't offer to help this time. I'll generously lend a hand when she asks for help after a myriad of setbacks. I allowed her to be in charge before, so I always played the passive role. I'll take the initiative and steer her in the direction I desire this time. You bad boy. I'm starting feeling sorry for her now. She forced me to do this. Ouch. Mr. Two, we found that fragment of the power source stone. Our two sects have long agreed that whoever gets the treasures here first will own them. You've crossed the line. You are at the first level of the pre-celestial stage, and your fellows are just at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage. How dare you challenge me? Do you think you are qualified to do so? You are too weak. You can't even leave a scratch on my puppet snake. Chiliang's sect is really declining. Mr. Tu, you are a senior at the second level of the pre-celestial stage. But you are hiding in the puppet to fight us juniors. You are not qualified to mock our sect. Kid, you irritate me. It may take some effort to kill you, but dealing with your fellows who are at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage will be effortless. You've gone too far. I was wondering where the annoying noise came from. Turns out it is a worm squawking. Who is there? Have you asked for my permission before fighting and smashing in my treasury? Are you Princess Shilan Wei, whose validity of identity is still questionable? This is an internal affair between our two sections. Your Highness, you'd better keep yourself away from being injured by mistake. You seem to have a little misconception about me. Are you new here? Little girl, I'm losing my patience with you. If you don't leave now, don't blame me. What? She destroyed the armor of the puppet snake with only one strike. How is it possible? I hate the guys who hide in the rear and put on airs. Old bastard, get out. Wait, Your Highness, calm down. I admit defeat, I admit defeat. That's good, remember not to be cocky from now on, or else I will beat you up. Princess Shilan Wei is really what she appears to be, showing her true nature to everyone. I should have been happy seeing Princess Shilan Wei beating Tu Shunping, but why do I feel sorry for him? Your Highness. I am Zhu Yufei, thank you for helping us. Your Highness, you are pretty and kind. We are very sorry for misunderstanding you before. You guys didn't run away? What? It's good. Otherwise, I would have to take some time to get you back. Huh. Both of your leaders have promised me that you only take the flameless holy fire, and the rest in the treasury is mine. But see what have you done. Hand over the fragments of the power source stone. Who took it? I heard you talking just now. This fragment is too small. Do you hide part of it? Your Highness, this is what it looks like when I found it. Mr. Two can testify. Your Highness, I only got such a size of the fragment. Shouldn't my family's power source stone be intact? How come it is broken? I have no idea. It shouldn't be like this theoretically. Mr. Yan said we are not powerful enough to go to the original location of the power source stone, and he told us not to go there for the time being. 
He just asked us to explore the ancient city and see if there are some treasures that were not collected by the Shilan royal family. We just looked around. The treasures here surely belong to your highness. Even if I get one, I will hand it over to your highness. You learn fast. Can you find any other fragments? I dare not fool your highness. We didn't know that the power source stone would break at all. The one in your hand was accidentally discovered by my disciple with some luck, as for the rest. I only know that some must be in a place with full yin chi in the center of this ancient city. What about Keshwaxi sect? We are not as good as Chiliang sect at finding things. Your Highness. None of you know about it, things will be difficult then. The armor of the giant snake and the blood refining bug are top active materials, but it's not easy to analyze them. I should reduce the difficulty a little. Starting to research the gears and the bugs made by low-level disciples of Keshwaxi sect and Chiliang sect. They are good targets, but... Forget it, I've forgiven you already, you may go now. They are too submissive, answering what I asked and giving me what I wanted, which makes me feel embarrassed to bully them. Forget it, I'll wait for another group, hope to meet someone unbending. Two hours later. What did you say? Shilan Wei said we took the rest treasures and broke the agreement so she intercepted our men and snatched the fragments of the power source stone. If our disciples didn't have a fragment, or said something harsh, she would directly frisk them, she even took away bugs from some disciples. She also did the same to Keshwaxi sect, she seemed to be more interested in mechanisms and dismantled many puppets of Keshwaxi sect. That bad girl, but what's it with the fragments of the power source stone? Didn't I tell you not to go to the center of the ancient city for the time being? We were just doing some normal digging, we either got nothing, or little pieces of the power source stone. As for the center of the ancient city, none of us dares to go there without your permission. The Shilan royal family really squandered all the treasures from the ancient sect, the fragments of the power source stone. Shurgu, should we go to the city center to check it out? And that girl, should we find her out and give her a warning? It's nothing but a means for the ancient sect to cut the power source stone into pieces to set up some kind of huge formation. The one in the city center probably has been taken away by the princess. I don't think you should worry about what happened there. Zhou Yanping has been away for two minutes. Flameless holy fire is way more important than power source stone. The gate of the sun and the gate of the moon are guarded by the elders at the third level of the pre-celestial stage of our two sections. Besides, I put a separated bug on Zhou Yanping. He can't escape. Zhou Yanping can't escape, and neither can that little princess. No matter how many treasures she has found, she can't take them away, so there's no need to worry. That's right, you can hit on a good idea occasionally. Tell our disciples who are excavating the ruins to act together. Avoid meeting Shilan Wei and don't fight her head on. Yes, madam. Shilan Wei, you will be my next target after I deal with Zhou Yanping. Master, there are still many fragments missing. It doesn't matter, let's take it back to our sect leader, she should be able to repair it. If I keep snatching, I'm afraid that the two evil sects would leave Zhou Yanping alone and come to fight me. It's done, sure enough, reducing the difficulty can work. What I need next is patience. All right, Chinger. Pick up the treasures on the ground, we're going back to Yen Ryu. Humph, I'm so nervous. If she succeeds without you, you can't win her over anymore, right? Ahmed Ba. I hope that she won't succeed easily. Master, Yin Chi here is so strange, I don't feel well. Bear with it, Yen Ryu has been staying here for so long. Oh, she is about to get rotten. Master, she seems to be in a bad mood. Easy, I am in a good mood while she is not. You are back, Huai Yu. Chinger, what are you carrying on your shoulder? Materials to refine my sword from Chiliang sect and Keshwaxi sect, they insisted on giving them to me, so I took them all. Your shameless look is so. So what? So handsome? You have a great taste. All right, carry on with what you were doing. I'm going to refine my sword. An hour later. Master, why does she keep in a daze but not ask you for help? Easy, Yen Ryu is more anxious than me. It's just a matter of time. If I actively go to solve her problems, she won't be grateful. All methods that I could think of have failed. I almost got my chi deviated because of the disturbance of the Xinma oath. How about asking Huai Yu? He didn't get angry when I improved the formula of the psychic bath before. I suppose he also won't be angry this time. However, the idea of combining Mei Ling with the guardian spirit is too bizarre. He may not have any good advice either. 
I'd better ask him. Maybe he has some ideas that can inspire me. Why you? Yes? Have you done? I've run into some problems when researching, so I'd like to hear your advice. Do you have a way to combine Mei Lung with the guardian spirit? Oh? I do have a way. You know how to do it. But it's still not very mature. After all, it only happened once. I have no idea if it can work for you. I can tell you the way, and it's up to you whether to try it or not. In the beginning, my guardian spirit was only in stupid ordinary owl, just like your fennec fox. Later, I met Chinger, a ghost of reality. After my repeated experiments and some coincidences, I finally combined the two together and created my guardian spirit Chinger. Chinger was a ghost of beauty before? I really didn't see that. What do you mean by that? Humph. My method is to make the owl swallow the ghost of reality. It was a bit contrary to common sense, but after that, Chinger's consciousness covered the owl's consciousness, probably because the owl was too stupid. Swallow directly? Turns out to be so simple. I overcomplicated it. I know what to do now. Huh. Coo. I haven't said anything yet. How could you get it so quickly? You are just as unreasonable as Sia Dowen. Go swallow Mei Ling. Why you? My guardian spirit can't swallow Mei Ling. You understand nothing. I shouldn't have believed you. I thought she really understood it. The point is not to be swallowed. That's the last step. You have to figure out what the key to being swallowed is. The swallowed one needs to be willing to do so. Your fennec fox is as wise stupid as my owl. As long as Mei Ling is willing to do so, they can complement each other and merge into one with Mei Ling's consciousness dominating. So the key is Mei Lung? Mei Lung, what are you doing? Didn't you say Mei Ling needs to be active in being swallowed, so? Stop it. I won't say a word if you interrupt me again. Okay. Mei Ling needs to be active, but not under your control. It's Mei Ling herself who has the will, that's to say. Mei Ling must have wisdom and spirit, the real ones, not just animal instinct. To let Mei Ling have wisdom and spirit. The technique of Chong Ling sect to refine ghosts is to eliminate their spirits, so that they won't attack their owners because of their ferocious instinct. Huai Yu, how did you train Chinger? Although she seems not to ahem. She's much better than Mei Ling. Can you teach me? You'd better hope that Chinger doesn't get it. Master, what are you talking about? Fine, she really doesn't get it. In order to make Chinger wise enough, I made so much effort that some of my hair even got gray. Chinger has mastered the skills. It should be no problem for her to guide Mei Ling. Humph, I'm a leader of a hundred ghosts. Guiding is my thing. Chinger? Indeed. Every time Mei Ling was with Chinger, she would be livelier. Maybe Chinger can really do it, but... You have done so much for me. I can only offer myself to you to return your kindness. Stop it. I don't need you to do that. To put it bluntly, I am more interested in confirming my assumption. If you can succeed, it's worth helping you. Anyway, Chinger will guide you later. I just told you about the method. Ku? So that's what you mean by counting on me. However, why do I feel something is wrong? Good girl, that's your illusion. Don't worry, Chinga will guide Mei Ling well, but we need to find a peaceful place with abundant yin qi. This is an inauspicious place where we can only nurture evil spirits. We will get into trouble if we do it here. Well, that's my shortcoming. I only know how to find gloomy places that are filled with furious evil aura and stagnant water. Fine, come with me. If I am not mistaken, there should be a great place in this ancient city. The Founding King's Mausoleum. By the way, how is your fox doing now? It can't fight, but can it follow any simple instructions? I have been feeding it well, but it only knows how to shake hands. If I don't give it some snacks after shaking hands, it will forget how to do it, and I have to train it again. It has no wisdom and spirit at all. There's really nothing I can do. It's really not smart enough. However, after Mei Ling merges with it, Mei Ling's consciousness will become the dominant one. The fox's consciousness won't have much effect on Mei Ling's nature, so it's not a bad thing to be stupid. Nature. Mei Ling only has the most basic instincts. If she really has wisdom and spirit, she will be like a newborn kid. Will she become stupid after merging with the fox? Why are you looking at Chinger? Chinger is not stupid. She is just simple and good-tempered. After becoming my guardian spirit, 
she acquired some habits of the owl, stop imagining. What? Are you calling me? Besides my hard work, all necessary conditions made it possible for Chinger to obtain wisdom and spirit. What we need to do now is to replicate this process. Hee hee, thanks to the encouragement from my friends, I can become who I am. I miss my friends and by Meng Meng so much. It sounds like raising a kid. Ghosts are simpler than people. They hate and they love. Nothing different from kids. Doesn't your sect appreciate that and thus refine evil ghosts? Ha ha, you are right. Here we are. Let's go. Let's see if you can make it this time. Well. Huh. What has happened? Why is everything gone? It seems that after we left, someone took away all the collections of the Shilun royal family. Puppet beasts of Keshluxi sect are big enough to contain a lot of collections. They dug out the power source stones and grabbed my treasures. I shouldn't have been polite to them if I had learned that the evil sects were so untrustworthy. It's all gone. I should have asked the ghost to move the treasures away if I had known it. Why you, you're so into it. Why do you care? Those mundane things can't improve our cultivation base. Indeed, but they can be exchanged for money, even if they are of no use to me. The Shilan kingdom has been undermined badly, and the royal collections can be taken out for sale to recoup the losses. Above the founding king's mausoleum is the treasury, and below is the mausoleum of their ancestors. Let's go there and... Huh! What are these? They are flying mole crickets of Chiliang sect. They can rapidly grow from the size of a grain of rice to their mature form within a few seconds. This kind of bug will gnaw at everything after breaking free from manipulation. It's thus also named locust bug. It's so weird to raise locusts. Good, very good. Some of them stole the treasures, and the others dug the grave. Do they really think that I have no way of dealing with them? Why you stop acting? We'd better deal with these locust bugs first. I'm afraid they may break feng shui underneath. That's possible. Let's get down and check quickly. Thank goodness. The mausoleum has not been destroyed. It's peaceful and full of yin qi. It's indeed a nice place. However, this ancient city is full of dangers. Why is there a wonderful place that contradicts the nature of the ancient city? I don't know exactly. Maybe the founding king's mausoleum is accidentally located at the gate of life of the spirit suppressing formation, so there is such kind of wonder that is opposite the nature of the ancient city. The founding king was far seeing. That's it. Hee <laughs> hee, guys, clear the field. Chinger is really energetic. She is completely different from when she was in the center of the spirit suppressing formation. If the center of the formation is a high pressure environment for her, this place can be seen as her hometown because it is similar to the place where she was born. When I was just a cluster of yin qi with little spirit, my friends personally designed the formation for me to nourish my soul and encourage me. Now it's my turn to do the same thing. Boohoo, I will definitely do it well. Show up, the loving girl's formation for reborn spirits. Loving girl's formation? What the hell with that name? Yin qi has been drawn over. Yeah. The effect is much greater than what Chinger described, she has become more powerful. Huh. Is. This a formation? Er. Master, I did every step right, and the appearance of this pond is proof of the success of the formation, but I don't understand why it's a pond. Probably the two worlds work differently, but if only it has the same effect. Chinga doesn't look good, did she fail? Um, no, she made it. It's just that Feng Shui is too good here. So the formation became a yin qi bath, which is a little different from the original one. You soaked in the psychic bath, and now Mei Ling is going to soak in yin qi bath. Why is always a bath? Probably because I am connected to water. Met Lung, get inside. Indeed, it was always about water when meeting you. Huh. Ahem, nothing, Chinger is ready. Look. Yen Ryu, control Mei Ling and let her stop resisting, or the bath will not work. Why you? Is Chinger reliable? Ha ha ha, you need to trust her. Is Chinger getting it personal? Ha, huh, what is that sound? Something seems to be broken. Broken? Master, the water is draining. What's going on? I feel a strong suction force. Well, the water in the pond is being drained. Chinger's formation is broken. Why you? Don't resist. Let's follow this suction force. There seems to be an interlayer underneath. What is this place? Did the flying mole crickets gnaw through the treasury? Why you, you are on my hair. You overestimated locusts. 
If they could gnaw through the treasury, Chiliang's sect wouldn't have asked me to help them open the gate, huh? Why you, my hair? I guess there was a space under the treasury, but I didn't expect it to be so large. I don't think we are still in the treasury. Eh, the formation is broken, but why hasn't the spill been she dissipated? And this monument? This place is so beautiful that it doesn't match the ancient city. I'm sure that we are still in the treasury, but in another space of it, look at the sky, and that crack, is where we fell from. Chinger, go up and see what's going on. Huh? Oh, okay, I will be right back. A moment later. After Chinger's repeated experiments, we discovered that by passing through the crack, we can enter the founding king's mausoleum, which can be regarded as basement one, and then by passing through the crack again, we can return to this space, which can be regarded as basement two. The crack in the sky is a door that connects the treasury and this strange space. This place should be a new area that has never been explored. Fascinating. This place is completely different from the above. Maybe there are treasures here. Ryu, put Mei Ling's thing aside for the time being. Given that we can go out at any time, let's explore this place first. Okay. Chinger. Chinger, why are you staring at this broken stone? Master, this monument is weird. I somehow can sense something similar to cultivation methods by staring at it. Cultivation methods? Well, it's blank for me. Nothing is on the monument. What about you, Huayu? I can't see anything either. I still can't see anything even through Chinga's eyes. This situation is the same as wordless sutra that imparting elder gave me. Could it be that what Chinga senses is a cultivation method for ghost cultivators, which is forbidden for living people? It's a good opportunity for you. Ryu and I are going to explore this place. Chinger, you can stay here to study this monument. Remember to pick up the pieces on the ground. Huayu, the cultivation method that Chinger can learn should be suitable for Mei Ling as well. Can I let Mei Ling stay here and study it with Chinger? Mei Ling is supposed to be able to learn it too, but she is a bit stupid. Don't expect her to learn much. It's okay. Just try her best. I won't ask for much. Okay, let's go. Chinger, please take care of Mei Ling. Don't worry, go ahead. Another invisible air wall, it's the end of this side. This space seems boundless, but in fact, it does have an end. The edges of the space are lined with mirrors and air walls. This place is a completely closed Shimo dark tunnel with an area of three square kilometers. It's the first time that I have seen such a scene. What's the point of that? Except for the monument on the largest floating island in the middle, there is no treasure in this awful place. But don't you think it's beautiful here? Why are you so close to me? I like you, don't you like me? No, it's hot, stay away from me. I don't believe you. You are not romantic at all, such a blockhead. If you keep messing around, I will fight back. Do you really think I don't know what you are up to? Try to seduce me, no way. Huh. Look what I have found. Mei Ling is slacking off. Why do you both enjoy the scenery? Look at Chinger. She is fully engaged in cultivation, just like me. Ryu Yu. Why are you in a daze? Nothing, I just remembered something in the past. Something in the past? Yeah, something happened in my childhood. At that time, the sky was also as starry as it is now. Inside Chongling sect, the sky was covered with clouds all year round. When it got dark, we really couldn't see anything. What I looked forward to most was seeing the sky with stars when the clouds dispersed occasionally. I never got tired of such a beautiful scene and hoped to have someone to appreciate it with me, but during those times, I'd like to control Mei Ling to embrace the starry sky like I did, as if she was a living person. Although I was always scolded by my master because of that, I still enjoyed it and still looked forward to the occasional starlight. Mei Ling has no wisdom and spirit for sure, but I control her and pretend that she is a living person who can respond to me. Haha, <laughs> you may think I am childish, right? Childish? I don't think so. In fact, Mei Ling is another you. Why you? Back then, you did have some wisdom, but you were just a child. You longed for families and friends, all of which Chongling sect couldn't give you, and you didn't dare to ask for. You manipulate Mei Ling and try to make her act like a living person, which is not childish behavior, it's the way how you deal with the friendship and family affection you lost. You split a part of yourself at a young age to shape the virtual personality of Mei Ling, so that you could fill the absence of emotion, you were helping yourself. I never laugh at self-helpers. Thank you, Huayu. Ruyu. 
I know she is likely looking for pity, but she was indeed pathetic when she was a kid. Eh, you didn't dodge this time? You reminded me, get your head off me. No, it's rare to see you let your guard down, I won't let go of this opportunity. I just try to be kind and comfort you, don't push your luck. Mei Lung, you are zoning out again. You haven't been enlightened, and you have poor comprehension, now you are even zoning out. When will you learn anything? Come here, I will hit your palm if you don't listen to me. Ha! Ching is doing a good job as an instructor. I have no worries about leaving Mei Lun to her. By the way, you didn't control Mei Lun to look at the sky this time, right? Does it mean that her wisdom and spirit began to take shape? Maybe, Mei Lin would show some self-consciousness with Ching Er even without my manipulation, but I guess it is just because Ching Er has some special feature of controlling ghosts. But this time, Mei Lin made such an obvious response to the external environment on her own, which is indeed great progress. Well, the ritual for Mei Ling was interrupted unexpectedly. We should resume it when Mei Ling and Qing are finished learning cultivation methods on the monument. I believe Mei Ling will make a thoroughgoing change. I hope so. One hour later. Why you? No one has come here for the time being, but I think it's a matter of time before this place is exposed. There is nothing we can do. It's such a conspicuous space crack, and we can't even close it. However, the only thing of value here is that monument and only ghosts can sense the cultivation methods on it, just let it be if it is exposed. But I am worried that they would be disturbed when someone comes in. I am wondering how long it will take, what if they can't comprehend it all in a short time? How about we take the monument away? I am fine with it if you carry it. This monument is too big to be hidden at all, if I carry it out, I will become the target of all, can ghosts still sense the cultivation methods on it if it's broken into pieces? If they can. Don't do anything stupid. How come it really exploded? Yen Ryu, you are such a jinx. Ching Er, what happened? Why did it explode? How is your learning going? Huh, I don't know why it exploded either. However, I've learned a technique. I named it Chi Observation Technique. Hee <laughs> hee, it's quite extraordinary. As long as I gather my power into my eyes, I can obverse Chi and seek treasures. If I master it, I can even see the manifestation of dragon veins and bring good luck to myself. Nothing can escape my sharp eyes. Well, Master, you have a bright forehead and healthy complexion with a ray of golden light flickering, which is a look of a leading role. Ching'er, the face reading you learned is for ghost cultivators, right? Besides, this is not my real face. Master, you don't understand. Face reading is the most basic function of my chi observation technique. There are more advanced and stronger functions to be unveiled. Er. Her forehead and face are dark, and every part of her body is all dark. She is just wrapped in darkness. What a jinx. What is Ching Er talking about? Nothing. She's just showing the technique she acquired just now. Never mind. Yen Ryu is with such bad luck. Shouldn't I have stayed with her for so long? Ryu, don't come over. Why you? You are acting strangely. Did Ching Er learn the technique on that monument? How is Mei Lin doing then? Mei Lin studied quite seriously during the latter period, but I found that there were no fixed contents on that wordless monument. It was like a cultivation book for ghost cultivators that kept turning pages. So what Mei Lin can get is all about her luck and fate. That is to say, what Mei Lin learned may not be techniques but some miscellaneous things about ghost cultivators. Besides, the monument is broken now, which means she has no chance to learn it again. Judged from Yen Ryu's sheer bad luck, it is very likely that Mei Ling only got something bizarre, like meals for ghosts. Master, don't jinx it. Too much bad luck leads to good luck. She might get a very fortunate chance. Are you serious? I doubt it. It depends on whether you believe it or not. That's what she observation technique describes. What the hell did she learn? After all, Mei Ling does not have a clear self-consciousness. Even if she remembers something complex, she would not understand it, so don't ask too much of her. You are right, I was being impatient. But on the other hand, she can comprehend and master the technique she got this time after she has wisdom and spirit, right? Well, I guess so. I'm going to set up the formation. Yin Chi has dissipated a lot, but it should be enough for Mei Ling. Qing or be gentle. Otherwise, Yen Ryu would think that you are going to drown Mei Lung. Don't worry, masters I know what to do. Show up again, loving girls formation. Ahem. 
Here we go. Today, I, Chinger, the ghost of beauty, smash a cup and hang a piece of silk. To humbly request the goddess of earth to grant. Seven wishes to the newborn ghost. First, wish her no karma from her past, reborn cleanly as she died cleanly. Second, wish her to have a healthy body, being leisurely and carefree. Will what Chinger is saying all come true? Look at her, you'd know it won't. Third, wish her to have a beautiful face and a hot figure to attract all men in the world. Fourth, wish her to have plenty of men to supply enough yang OT and energy. Fifth, wish her happiness and freedom from worries every day. Sixth, wish her no excellence but health. There are already six wishes, should we add one more to make an auspicious quantity? We have already wished her to have a beautiful appearance and enough food and clothing, what else? How about making a big one? Wish Chinger to achieve the ultimate goal as a ghost of beauty. Seventh. Good idea, then seventh, wish. Seventh, wish Mei Ling smooth sailing in all matters and finding her beloved one early. It's done, Mei Ling, you did so well, you will definitely become an excellent ghost of beauty in the future. Chinger the last sentence is not necessary. Does Mei Lung have wisdom and spirit now? Don't be nervous, Mei Lung. Try to speak something first. Can she speak? Yes, the loving girl's formation can activate her facial organs. Normally, she needs to speak after being taught gradually, but she has lived for so long, so she can skip the step of babbling. Isn't she like a baby with memories of her past life? That's a bit interesting. Come on, Mei Lung, say something. Listen, she is speaking. Huh? Look, she said it twice. E e e. You are interacting with me without my manipulation, which has never happened before. It's fine if you can't speak now, I am already very happy with your current state. Mei Lung? What are you trying to say? E. You. 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 I get it, she is calling your name. Boohoo, Mei Ling is a big girl now, this is so touching. Mei Ling, my good girl. Next, we will work hard to elevate Mei Ling's intelligence from the level of a two- or three-year-old baby to that of a child in adolescence within half a month. Origin point gained, gratitude, 0.01 points, Yen Ryu. Oh my, origin points? After all the hard work, I have finally warmed up this icy, hard, heart. That's too much. How can you do such an exciting thing in front of Mei Ling? Let me bear it all alone. Why you? Thank you. She kissed me, but she trusts me the most right now. It's a great opportunity to insert a heart trigger into her.